For under 500 US dollars, I don't think you could get a more perfect package if you're a beginner looking to get into 3D printing, or if you're somebody who knows a lot about printing and you want to try to get started in multicolor printing, this is it right here. This is the setup that you need to learn everything about it. Honestly, there's nothing to learn. It makes it so easy for you. It's completely plug and play. You saw the whole setup took less than 10 minutes and I was printing almost immediately in multicolor. This material system allows you to have up to four different colors of filament, all printing through one print head just like this. Let's go back and unbox this thing and get some first impressions. All right, here we are with the Bamboo Lab AMS Lite. And right off the bat, I gotta say, Bamboo Lab shipping is next level. I believe this took two days to get here. And also, Bamboo Lab just seems to be like the Apple of the printer world, the 3D printer world. Their packaging is always amazing. Here we have a quick start guide, which I will be utilizing. But their packaging is always amazing. And up top here, we have some Bowden tubes. And we're just gonna kind of set those down get those out of the way and we're gonna to get to the main event here. Now I do wanna note this box is probably bigger than the actual printer box was, just, just something to uh, be aware of, I guess. Here are those Bowden tubes here, looking nice and great and gray. We're gonna set those to the side here. Next we have, a, this looks like to a spool holder. We got a spool holder here, one of them, and I believe we're gonna have a second one right here. Yep, there it is. Get those set to the side. Look at this cardboard, I mean, come on, it doesn't get any better than that, but get it out of here. Move on to the main event right here, the meat and potatoes of this operation, the actual AMS system. Just kidding, this is a stand. We'll get to the meat and potatoes in a second, but first, let's get this stand out. Solid plastic, amazing, nothing really to say about this. Now, here is the actual AMS system itself. This is what you guys have all been waiting for, this is it right here. Amazing packaging, again, I know I keep saying it, but really, you can see there is about one and one zip tie in total on this thing that we're gonna have to remove. First, let's get this all mounted onto the stand just so we have something that's a little bit easier to work with. I don't think it gets any easier. No instructions needed on how to line this up. Let's get this thing torqued down to spec and flip it over, do the same to the other side. I'm noticing that we have some green here on one of these uh, adapters and look at that green on the spool it matches up perfectly honestly I thought I would need the quick start guide to assemble this thing but just by the color coordination of everything it's honestly not necessary I'm so impressed with how easy this is to set up and that was it like that was it that was the entire setup for the AMS system all that's left now is to remove the Bowden tube that I had on there for the single spool and I did print a uh, very tiny print to help remove the Bowden tube I gotta be honest I don't think it did too much but I was able to get it out with a little bit of force here now here it is that amazing duo seeing them side by side for the first time ever for me now we're gonna start by getting these Bowden tubes attached here now I did check out the quick start guide for this and it did not really say much. However, I did notice that there are different lengths here. So I'm just gonna kind of go with what I think is right and uh, just go for it and see. Now originally I thought that it might need to be in a certain order the way you put them into the extruder. However, that is completely incorrect because it doesn't matter. So you can kind of put those in any order you want. However, I would recommend not getting them tangled up. There we go. Got all the tubes installed super easily. Next thing we're gonna do is plug the AMS light system into the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini right here on the side. And let's see if it comes to life. Oh, just kidding. Why is it gonna come to life? It's not plugged in yet. Let's get some filament on this thing first. So I have a couple of filament rolls lying around. I definitely don't have anything exciting to fill up, but let's see how this works. According to the quick start guide, you're just going to kind of shove it in this yellow tube, push down on the button, and there it goes. It's feeding itself automatically. Honestly, I did not know that it was gonna do this. Feed itself, awesome, awesome features. Now let's go to the screen here and you can already see it picked up what it is because it's a bamboo lab filament it has a chip inside of it and it tells the ams light system exactly what it is now here's some elgu matte pla again same exact thing just shove it in the yellow tube press the button and it'll feed itself however 
Because it's not a Bamboo Lab filament, it will not pop up on the AMS system. So we're gonna have to add this ourselves going in here. And I found that the Bamboo Lab PLA actually works very well for this brand of filament. So I'm just gonna set it up as that. And here we can pick our color. Press OK in the top right, give it a second and it will pop up. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Okay. Couple more rolls here. We got some tan and this roll is uh, running a bit low, but you can see here, this thing is awesome. I mean, just looking at this, it's, it's, it looks pretty crazy. Now let's get something loaded in there and you can see, look, it's first poop. It's first poop as an AMS light and also it's first failure. Um, spoiler alert, this failure was my fault. I put in the wrong setting, so let's just ignore that. And let's go to my first successful print with this AMS light system, and it's gonna be a poker chip. I thought it'd be kind of just a perfect little thing to um, get started, and there's its first prime tower. Look at that, how cute. Anyways, I mean, it just works. I don't have anything really to say, it just works. I had no issues with the setup. I did have that first failed print, however, that was on me. That was my fault. This thing is absolutely amazing. Here's the prime tower. I have, I, I don't know what else to say. It does poop a lot though. Just for that one poker chip, there's all that poop. However, it is what it is. These are the very first objects that I printed with the AMS light system on the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. As you can see here, we have a nice bowling pin keychain and look at these layer lines. There is absolutely no difference between the white and the red stripes. Absolutely amazing. Now a poker chip, you guys already saw that. That was the very first item that I printed. Uh, next I decided to print a little shark and you can see here the only thing they use the AMS system is the eyes. However, they turned out absolutely perfect. And the last thing I decided to print was this nice little bamboo lab box here for the multiple different nozzle sizes. And you can see that the B is a little bit messed up. However, when you do lettering like this, you really should use a 0.2 millimeter nozzle that I've learned. And I've used a 0.4 millimeter nozzle for this box. So I can't blame the printer or the AMS light system for messing that up. Besides the B, everything else on this print looks absolutely amazing. It looks like it's printed on there, which is actually really impressive. Overall, I am extremely impressed with the print quality that you can get out of the AMS light system with the A1 Mini. And I've only printed four objects. These are the first four things I've printed in the first day that I've had this thing. I absolutely cannot wait to see what I can come up with, what I can find, what this thing can actually do when you really push it to its limits. Now that I've had the AMS light for a couple of days and I've been able to print a couple of multicolor prints, what do I think about the AMS light? I will say I did have a few failed prints my very first time trying to use this. However, it is no fault of the AMS light system itself. I had some settings, some weird settings put in there and I just had to get those fixed and slow the printer down a little bit and I had no issues at all. I think the AMS light system is extremely easy to use for beginners. It's super easy to set up. Everything is color coordinated and they have great color illustrations in the instruction manual to set it up. Loading the filament can't get any easier. You simply just throw it in the tube and it feeds it itself. Telling the machine what color filament and what type of filament you loaded is also a piece of cake, especially if you use the Bamboo Labs filament where it automatically imports all of the settings for you. I will say the AMS system and multicolor printing does create a lot of waste. However, that is just a part of multicolor printing. There is no way to get around that unless you have multiple heads, which I do not have the money to afford. For under 500 US dollars, I don't think you could get a more perfect package if you're a beginner looking to get into 3D printing, or if you're somebody who knows a lot about printing and you wanna to try to get started in multicolor printing, this is it right here. This is the setup that you need to learn everything about it. Honestly, there's nothing to learn. It makes it so easy for you. It's completely plug and play. You saw the whole setup took less than 10 minutes and I was printing almost immediately in multicolor. Do I think the AMS light system is worth the extra money? 100% I think it is worth the money. Even if you're not trying to print in multiple colors, the ability to have four different color filaments always loaded up and you can simply pick what color you want to print with makes it so much easier than having to swap out rolls every single time you wanna change what color you're printing with. You could also load different types of filament onto all four of these. So you could have PLA in one spot, ABS in another one, PETG in a third, and whatever you like. However, you are limited to what the A1 Mini can actually print. 
but it's always an option to have different types of filaments on this A1 Mini and just pick what type of filament you want to print with. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for checking out this video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about this AMS light system, about the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, about me, anything you want to know, leave it down in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for checking out this video and um, go check out my other ones.